All right, y'all, we have been so bad about documenting today because I was doing it over on Instagram. I just saw this black paint on me. Um, doing just like Instagram stories of today. I wasn't planning on vlogging, but then I decided I was gonna like paint our window frames and do all these things. So let's go do that. I'm just trying to fix up the curb appeal right now because it's fun to like drive up and be like, that's our house. So we put shutters on some of the windows. We have to get longer ones for the other ones. And I clean the windows and now I'm painting the frames just freehanded because we do have to get new windows eventually, but I want them to look pretty and to match the other stuff on our house. So I've got him strapped to me and we're gonna paint the windows. I've already started, um, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So let's, let's do it. Ideal. Doing this while all three kids were awake was a little challenging. Actually, probably very challenging. As you can see, I have a baby attached to me, so it was kind of hard to get the angles, but the majority of the time, Wes was in his little walker and the kids were just hanging out, so I didn't paint all of this wearing a baby. Definitely was not the ideal situation to be holding him while doing this, but I was set on knocking this out, so that's what I did. And because mom was painting, Reagan wanted to paint, and that's why there's that colorful paint packet at my feet because she was trying to convince me to let her paint, but I was like, mm, no, probably not because I can't supervise you and I don't want you ending up painting the house because you see me painting the house. wish I had been filming when I washed the windows originally. I think I'll post a short that shows when I cleaned the windows and where I was starting from because you guys, it was like moss growing on them. I don't know what it was, but this house was vacant for a year. And honestly, even before that, I'm pretty sure they were not getting to window washing. So it was quite nasty. So that's why I'm using this glass sprayer to clean them off before painting them. <laughs> oh, Banner just got home. I took matters into my own hands. As you could see, Banner had no idea that I was going to paint the windows. I'd been talking about it, but he didn't know I was gonna then and there do it when he ran to Home Depot to grab more shutters for the house. So I was like, can you even tell? And he acted like he could tell, but I'm pretty sure he couldn't tell driving up until he got up close. But here we are adding some shutters to the house for some character. Good morning. Today is a day of get our lives together kind of day and fold all of this laundry that has, I just almost fell over. <laughs> all this laundry that's been accumulating. We've got Reagan making some eggs this morning. Oh, good job cracking them. You didn't get any shells in there. Yeah. Good job. Okay, yeah. And use your fork and stir them up, Mom, scramble them. can you get that so I can know which time I can go when it's ready? Get that. Get what? Yeah, mini thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's your timer. Okay, let's just stick to three eggs, okay? Mm, don't like three. How many are you gonna make? But I'm gonna turn seven, so it's gonna be a lot. You're gonna turn seven? That's in many years from now. Good job. All right. Now mix it. You're so cute. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes This is a 
problem. Like, this is how much of my hair is falling out. It just is everywhere. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Can we just take a second to realize how contradictory my laundry detergent situation is? I'm using Tide Dye Free, then some Borax, like all natural, and then I'm putting in downy fabric softener. So I've got two like semi-clean things going in and then I just ruin it all with the downy fabric softener. But I guess like, what's that rule, 80-20? I think that's how I live my life. 80% semi-clean, not even really these days, and then like 20% bad. I think I'm probably more on the like 70-30. Okay, I've been messing with my face and now I have like just a pimple right in the center of my top lip, but I just put all the kids down, everyone's asleep, and <laughs> there's so many things I need to be doing, but when I'm this overwhelmed, I just do the things that like spark joy in me, or like not really spark joy, but the things that I want to do rather than what I need to do, and what I want to do instead of doing this big tub of laundry, which I emptied that tub to wash our dishes in, so I'm actually still gonna do that, I'm just gonna dump that on there and then wash your dishes now that everyone's asleep but I'm gonna do that after I rearrange a little bit I'm gonna move this over there because I moved that mirror I'm gonna try to move the chair move that plant just kind of rearrange and get this space feeling a little bit more put together well as you can see here in about 2.5 seconds there he is the man of the hour the kid that didn't want to nap any longer um so he was just hanging out around my feet while i was trying to move all of these things and let me tell you on this day i was straight up over it as you will see my facial expression let out a little silent roar um, yeah, right there. I just, you know, sometimes I just have to, that aggression, that annoyance, that overstimulation. Just like, I gotta, I gotta make a face. My face is very expressive. My hands are very expressive. And like, sometimes it just comes out. Hey, Daddy. 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 Nice strong. Here's another point of frustration for myself. I moved this chair only to realize it didn't make any sense for me to move said chair. Why would I have three chairs in a row and the plant on the other side? So here I am moving it back. Okay, this is what I did off camera because I just was, you know, overstimulated and I couldn't even think about filming what I was doing. But basically it looks exactly like what it looked like at our other house, except I put that basket on the bottom and it's not gonna stay like this but it at least feels better having this little corner semi clean we're doing the dang thing i've got my tub right there all these dishes that have piled up we are gonna go and wash these my plan is to load them in the tub take them outside do soap and water yes the water's cold out there but i'm gonna do all that get all the gunk off and then dump it and then fill it up with hot water and bring it inside and put that tub in the bathtub if that makes sense it just i gotta find my gloves and manage my children because they're gonna want to come out there with me but let's do it Rub a dub dub a bunch of pots in a tub. I bet y'all didn't know I was a pioneer woman. 
washing my dishes outside. I'm just trying to fill them up with some soap and water and let them soak. And while I'm doing this, all my kids were doing was at the sliding glass door banging on it, wanting to come outside. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do this so quickly because if they come out here, they're going to try to pull these pots and pans out of the bucket and just like want to play with the water hose and waste water and do all of these things. So I'm like trying to go as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> I've been doing some Amazon shopping. I know what two of these are, but I don't know what's in that one. Obviously this one tells you what it is and I'm so excited. It's a rolling laundry cart basket. I'm so stoked to put that together. But right now my kids want to go on a walk, so we'll do that later. And there's, there's the living room creation of the day. And we're going on a walk, so she's bringing me. <laughs> Thank you, thank you guys. Okay, you all wanna go? Hey, Mom. Wow, should I get one your size so you can hold him? Yeah, I want a sparkly. Of course, to match your shoes. I was trying to get this Cute, too. and I like your shoes, Trip. Whoa. Those look cool. Whoa. That's what happens when Mom buys $50 boots what for the firstborn daughter, and then you have two sons. But Whoa. you rock it, love it. it. Let's go, guys, let's walk it out. Hey. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Okay, show me your trick. Well, that's the biggest it's jump I've ever seen. It's the wrong holiday, and these are on the outside of my house. I should probably move this. Even though I've only painted, I still need to do that, so that's fun. But the weather's been not great. All right, it is the next day. I'm going to open these packages because I'm really, really excited for that rolling cart. There's a collapsible laundry basket in there. We already have one, but I need another one because I need to put all these clothes that I just folded in that and the other one that we have still has clothes folded in it. So that's why I needed another one so I can have two baskets just sitting with folded clothes in the hallway instead of just one. Instead of having them stay here folded, they could be in the basket folded. It just, it makes sense, right? But. I'm gonna do this and put together this little rolly thing. All right, we have put together the laundry basket and you know, this is the part that I kind of thought might happen but didn't really think through. I thought I'd be able to hide it. I have bandages on from Reagan. She's gonna be a doctor one day, so that's fun. I got one on my foot and on my hand. We love that but I'm a huge fan of this, this is awesome. Today was also a day that Banner was like, yeah, I just have to go into work for one thing and I'll be back right after. And I was like, great, that means he'll be home around like lunchtime, noon. So I basically planned like my whole day around that. Uh, rookie mistake on my part because it's 2.30 and he's not home and his meeting was at like 10 today. So something must have come up and I'm like, dang it, we've done nothing today. But it is raining outside, so I feel like that's kind of an excuse. And my kids have popsicles and Trip is banging on the window watching the rain, getting its sticky little fingerprints. I definitely cleaned this playroom last night, so like let's just ignore like the stuff. I don't clean up this part because this is like what she likes to play with, so I leave that out, but I definitely cleaned up everything else. But this is also like midday play, but I've finally had it with this rug in here. I love this rug. I will probably either successfully wash this one or have to buy a new one, but it smells so bad from all the just like nasty stuff that they've spilt on it. And I think my carpet cleaner is like old and gross and I think it made this smell. So I'm gonna roll this up and put this other rug that we have. This rug. All my furniture has stories, so I'm gonna tell you the story of this rug. Okay, before I get into the story about the carpet that I was just talking about, please watch this next series of events that occurs. It perfectly describes how my past few days had been going, and it's just really unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, this stuff on. Oh my. <laughs> it's up 
handsome roll. Okay. 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 Now that I've recovered from that very, very unfortunate sequence of events, I am now getting back to moving this carpet out of here. This carpet has honestly been great. It's been perfect for the playroom because it hides literally anything that spills on it. There's probably so much chocolate milk, or we called it chocolate milk. It's chocolate protein shakes for kids and markers and probably some Play-Doh on here, but because of the pattern, it hides it really well. It's probably seen way better days. It's a little stinky like I was saying so I'm taking this bad boy out and putting in the rug that I have had since obviously Ben and I got married that's where most of our stuff is from because it honestly wasn't that long ago but this rug specifically was purchased for our guest room when we had guests and at this time in our lives we had no money whatsoever I was still in college and Banner was the only one working in the army obviously and I was like so hellbent on I wanted a baby so bad and this is what I did this rug right here I was like if we had a girl this would be so cute in her nursery I could reuse this and this was back when having a navy blue accent wall in a nursery was really popular I think this was circa like 2017 2018 maybe even 2019 you know back then Pinterest nurseries I was saving so I also always was convinced that I would have a girl first so I bought this rug with the intention that it would go in my daughter's nursery when I had one I just used it in the guest room at the time to get away with buying it um so yeah here it is now in the playroom and I still really do love it it's very colorful and fun I just think it's funny how calculated I was back then and how I've always tried to really think through my purchases and how I'll use them in the future. Um, I really actually have been loving this rug in here. It's super soft. I might leave it in here, but speaking of accent walls, I want to do an accent wall on this wall in the playroom because you do see it through the glass doors, but I can't exactly decide what I want to do. If I want to do a wallpaper, if I want to do wood feature on here, I'm leaning towards a wallpaper just because paint for me, I always lean towards like the grayish blue and I don't want it to match the kitchen too much. So I'm thinking possibly wallpaper and then maybe really big pictures of the kids on here as a focal point. So lots of fun projects projects to come but that is gonna be it for today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one bye guys